Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're going into the steps on how to SSH into a VMware host directly. So we're gonna be using PuTTY as our tool to SSH into it, but you can do this from other apps as well. So we've got an IP address for an ESXi host here, which we're gonna go and put in and say open. And you'll see that by default, it does not let you log in to your host. This is because SSH is not enabled by default. So you want to log into your host itself, all right? You want to log into vSphere. You can do this through vCenter or directly into the host. And you want to select your host and go into the configuration tab. Then you want to go down to security profile under software, all right? And you've got all your services listed. So you want to click on properties and we're going down to SSH, all right? And you'll see that that is stopped. So you click on options and you click on start. So there's a few options there to start it manually, to start it when the host starts as well. So we're gonna start it manually and okay. You'll see that now that host, uh, the SSH on the host is now running. So exactly what we did before, we're gonna open up PuTTY and we're gonna to try to connect to that IP and we'll now be able to SSH into that host without problem. All right, say yes and then you can log in to your host and do what you need to do. And of course, to disable it, you just do the exact reverse, all right? So that is a fully working uh, Linux distribution that's running on PuTTY, on, oh, sorry, not on PuTTY, on the host itself, accessible via PuTTY. And then to disable it, as we said, we go into properties again, select SSH and then stop, all right? And that is the steps on how to enable SSH to connect to a host. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.